up again, let's go. We're doing this on the move again, let's go. Something about your family doesn't quite fit. When my father started touching me, I was young and naive. I thought it was okay for him to do that to me. In addressing the problems of sexual abuse in the society, a new blockbuster movie, Ije Awele, a story that captures the pain of a young abused girl and her journey to healing and self actualization. So, Ije Awele is about um, a girl who was adopted and you know sent into a home where she had foster parents, Mr. and Mrs. Omara. Um, in between, um, she her father started, you know, molesting her, her foster father, and her mom knew about it, but you know, didn't do anything about it. Um, along the line, she runs into another boy who was also adopted to them, and that was the beginning of their love story. And a lot of things unfolded while she was looking for her path. What are you doing here? I came to If you don't talk to me, you're either going to be talking to the police or the press. Stop! Stop it! I played the character of Chief Ide Namba in EJ Awele. I'd like to start by commending, of course, um, the producer and the executive producer uh, for doing a great job. Uh, the script was... Um, it's the kind of story that um, we're looking forward to doing justice to. And um, for me, I must let the audience know that this is your story. It's something that you have to do not fail, do not miss it for a second. Because it has quite a lot to educate you, to inform you, and to remind you about the society that you are living in. Character in India really is that of a predator. I always preyed on defenseless, uh, vulnerable and uh, weak, my weakest links. But but the, the part of it, the part of India really for me, and I think is the part that the society has failed to recognize, is that my character uh, was protected by the society and by family. It's like what what we do with our male children in the African society against the girl child. You know, we have a society that has a preference for the male child as against the female child. So uh, um, the story talks about that victim position. Produced by Victoria Owogu and directed by Emeka Ojuku, the movie features veterans such as Oyeka Owenu, Ngozi Uwosu, Kepi Efenyo Basi, amongst others. So you have your money to spoil the content, okay? Don't lie to me! I will do that. Who is Sister Odili? I really the lead and I also produced the film. Um, <laughs> I thought by the time we, I blinked, <laughs> it would be all over on set, but I lied. <laughs> it was um, it was a roller coaster, but we got it all. Um, it went well at the end of the day. You know, there will always be bads, but that's part of the cause. In, in this movie, EJ Awele, it says go well. But from what the viewers are going to see, I am sure they'll be able to tell if the journey went well or it didn't go well or there were hiccups here and there. When I read the script, you would find that there's, there's a fine line between Dubaim and Dubar in the sense that when, the, when, when, when Awele would refer to him as Dubim, he kind of like softens up, like he, rem he remembers who he was or who he used to be, you know, it, it begs to his conscience, it pleads to his conscience to, to understand that there could be a better life, you know. So it still goes back to the topic of the entire project, focusing on the, the aftermath of kids who leave the foster home. One thing I noticed is that I, I kept wondering what happens to these people because I, I've never really heard any adults say I was in an orphanage and this that you know so I started to 
think about what it would be like you know to be from that place where where they fall and coincidentally uh, victoria came up with a story which she had heard someone talk about you know a friend whom she ran into and uh, you know we just put different pieces of different stories together you know to come up with that one of the things that really connected with me was the, the, the uniqueness of a story because it speaks to the human nature it connects to the orphans My name is Victoria Ngugu and I'm an actor. Hi people, my name is Ngozi Ngozi. My name is AGK Asiebu. Anticipate for EJ Awele on AIT. You're watching Bedu on the move on AIT. Don't touch that dial. Bedu on the move. Don't miss a dice. Stay tuned.